the one who kneels before Allah can stand before anyone. Said, yeah, but we need to get involved in the democratic process too. Why else did we come here? Majestically floating among the other clouds in the sky, a cloud shaped distinctly like the elephant god Lord Ganesh. Mo, we didn't come here, we was born here, bruv. That is Lord Ganesh, isn't it? Yes, it is Ganesh, and only good people can see him. Chotu brightens up. Mo runs out the door, the front door slams. As a director, I mean, you want to work with people that you appreciate their artistry. Such a big difference between a craftsman and an artist, and whether it's a camera operator, whether it's a, you know, prop person, whether it's a sound mixer. I mean, there's sound mixers that are very competent, and then there's sound mixers that are like artists, you know. No, no, when it comes to you, ladies. My Brother the Devil is the story of two teenage, second generation British Muslim brothers about their lives one summer in Hackney. Cut! Cut! So everyone knows we're doing our coverage of the fight scene. The crew was great, very professional. We always started with like a group hug at the beginning of the day. <laughs> and um, that was really a good way to bring everybody together. The positions are uh, a first AD, which is a crew chief, the director of photography to each crew, an assistant camera, a grip and electric, and an art person who will support the filmmaker. And sound. Sound's important too. <laughs> People often forget about sound. It's the unappreciated art because if it's good, then you don't hear anything and that's the idea. Everything about filmmaking is about collaboration. And it's always about finding a way to let someone else, you know, highlight their abilities and, and to get what they can offer across to the project. Actually, yeah, give him the ring. Yeah, that's a good idea, Ryan. It's very good to meet you, my friend. Tell me more about this magic umbrella antenna. I... Hello? The story of Ram is the story of an extraordinary friendship between an ordinary a street vendor and the Prime Minister of India and how that changes the country. This red one mm -hmm. kind of links color-wise to the poster mm -hmm. and this idea that she's the spiritual one yeah, in the house. I like, I like yeah, the do you think it'll be okay that. for camera? We're working closely so. together to try to find out, and we're exploring a lot more. I think he's looking to me a little bit more for uh, for ideas, and so it, that's made me work harder to try to figure out exactly how this magical realism can work. I got to steal everyone else's ideas, and uh, whatever I did the whole day today has just been elevated. I think it's really important when you don't know something to admit that you don't know. I haven't made a decision yet. I don't know. What do you think? There's nothing wrong with that. It's not weak. I like the idea of bringing the sofa forward so that we get the depth. That is a really nice idea. I mean, I want to try to keep the lights out of the way so when it... Well, I had a great connection with my DP. He was really great because I'd come up with like, okay, this is my idea for the scene, and then he'd always kind of raise the bar a bit and say, okay, well, what about this as well? You know, we kind of come up with it together visually. I mean, she has very specific um, ideas in terms of uh, where the story is, and then it kind of just goes from there. We have these great conversations about the story. I mean, you'll, you'll come up and say, well, what if we do this? Oh, yeah, I was thinking about that. I mean, it's, it's, it's fascinating when it happens, and you, you, try to, you, you try to suss it out before you commit to something that you will have that kind of relationship because there's nothing more painful than being in you know a situation where you're just basically dictated to and you're just you know you just have to do what you're told Hopefully you can plant the seed and they'll even take it further than you plan to take it. Hopefully your prop person will come up with some cool thing that's going to be great and just raise it to the next level. Hopefully your actor will. And then you'll see what they're doing and then you'll try to make that better. Just raising the excellence of every scene, every costume, every actor to the highest possible level to respect the audience that, you know, Respect their time. If you're asking them to sit there and watch a 10 minute short, let's make every 10 minutes good. Something they haven't seen before. You know, insightful, shocking, crazy, funny, whatever you're going for. You have to work on those things that are really kind of setting yourself up for failure. And 
then the success comes from learning from that. 